Welcome to Adulting with Joyce Spring. Watch the full video of this episode on my channel, www.youtube.com slash TV. And if you want to level up your adulting game, check out joyspring.com slash collections for my digital products and courses. That There are a lot of young adults who are listening to the podcast. And, you know, it's surprising, not naman surprising, it's encouraging na because of what's been happening during the pandemic with everything, feeling ko dahil natanggal lahat ng mga facade of what we would distract ourselves with, ang daming mga taong nakakilala kay Lord. Kasi nawala yung mga escape, di ba? Nawala yung escape ng going to work, going out, traveling, all these other things. Dahil nawala siya, they started to ask the hard questions. And... You and I both know that the hard questions can be answered by the Bible. Now, mm-hmm. I know that there are a lot of young adults here who want to get to know Christ on a deeper level. And they just don't know how. Would you have any practical tips for them to really grow in their relationship with God? Well, the first step is, of course, read His Word. That's why He gave it to us. And if you haven't really read the Word of God, you start in the book of John. Uh, that's the one of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. It's an easy read. And that book kasi will describe who Jesus truly is. You know, one of the things that I always tell people, because somebody asked me, uh, one of our young people, who's already a Christian, you know, he asked me, Pastor Marty, what's what's the difference? Why why are we so serious with Jesus Christ? If if other groups, other organizations can promise peace, they, they, they all mm-hmm. promise peace. Other religion can promise um, uh, goodness in life, can promise a happy, joyful life. Every organization naman will promise that. Eh. Uh, every organization, naman, every religion naman would say na, oh, ito yung tama, ito yung ano, ito yung gawin mo. And here's my answer to this girl. Sabi ko, alam mo, napakaganda ng question mo. Actually, a daming young people, I think yan ang question. Especially if you're listening right now, yan yung question mo. Why are you so serious with Jesus? Here's the number one reason why. Because Jesus died and rose again. Yun talaga. Nobody has ever done that. The resurrection of Jesus proved that He is God and what He says in His Word. So Bible. Kaya kami nagbabas ng Bible. Kasi the story of His resurrection is there. Jesus truly lived in history. Nabasa ko pa nga yan sa high school book ko na history books. Eh. During the Pax Romana, imagine, it's historical, it's there. So, totoong nabuhay siya and over 500 people saw him die. Over 500 people saw him rise again. At totoong totoo talaga. Imagine, he's the only one who overcame death. He's the only one who, who said, he's gonna die in three days, he's gonna rise again. And he did it. So that's why take the word of God seriously. So if you want to grow in your relationship with God, first read the Bible, book of John. And dami na, you can download it sa phone mo, sa yung Bible app, you can do that. Mm-hmm. And join a small group. You, you can message maybe Joyce's podcast and they can connect you to a small group. You can message us in Elevate or in CCF. Um, it's a small group. When I say small group, a community of people who loves the Lord. Because if you're always with a community who doesn't love the Lord, ano magi ogali mo? Of course you're gonna you're gonna act like them. I'm not saying na stop being their friends. You can befriend them, paren, but be with people who loves the Lord. I promise you, you'll you, that kind of life. It's totally different. Baka kasi hindi yung panata try. Yeba Joyce, pag na try mo. Yes. Ito talaga. Bang class ito talaga. Sobrang iba. Take it from your ate, Joyce, guys. I tried everything. Ibang-iba yung testimony namin ni Pastor Marty kasi ako naman went the complete opposite direction. I tried to be the own, my own God. You know, I tried to be God in my life. And it just, I did everything. I And I reached everything that I thought I needed. The fame, money, success, relationship. And once I got to the top, it, it was empty. It was nothing. And then the happiest year of my life ever was the year that I really accepted the Lord as my Savior. Jesus Christ really changed my life. And it's it's just a different kind of joy. It gives you meaning. It gives you purpose. And it gives you so much answer. I just wanted to add you to resurrection. I remember reading something about the resurrection that was written in the Bible, sabi nila, sabi dun sa uh, scholar na nagbasa nun, kung this was made up, bakit babae yung unang nakakita kay Jesus? Uh, 
Kasi during that time, within the context of that of that well, time, uh, people don't believe women. They only believe it when men say things. But why did why did women so why did we, women see Jesus first? Mm-hmm. Why didn't they if they just made this up? Some very important person who was in position could have seen Jesus, but no eh. He was seen first by women and then by the 500. And then after that, Yung nung nagsusulat na si Paul, talk to some of them are still alive. You can yeah. go talk to them because some of them are still alive. That's how real the Bible is, and that's how real that resurrection is. That people they were sh- and oh my goodness, who would die for a lie, right? Yeah. <laughs> Almost all of the apostles died a uh, gruesome Martyr, death. Yeah. yeah, everything. So very, very encouraging. Uh, Pastor Marty, before we go, any final encouragement to anybody who's listening here on our podcast today? Well, for you guys, um, since this is adulting, right? You know, in yes. your journey as a young person, um, whether you're still studying, you're working, I go back to the importance of Jesus being the center of your your life. Yes, I'm. you might be saying that I'm a pastor. That's why I'm saying it. But before I became a pastor, I've experienced that already. You'll never go wrong. Iba talaga. Um, and hindi lang siya iba talaga. Imagine the promise of God for you. Your security is not just here on earth, but your security is for eternity. Kasi siya lang nga naka-overcome ng death. Eh. So you have a certified hope. So you want adulting to be joyful, to be amazing. Make Jesus the center of your life. That's it for this episode of Adulting with Joy Spring. If you liked this podcast, please don't forget to use the hashtag Adulting with Joy Spring and also check out www.joyspring.com for the show notes and tag me on social media with you know it at Joy Spring. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Paalam!